Okay, let's see if you guys can do this question without using a calculator. We have 329 square minus 271 square. And I gave you guys the options here already. So go ahead and pause the video and try this first. Done? Done? All right, cool. Now, okay, this is just like a good old computation question, right? Order of operations. We have a subtraction, and then this is an exponent, right? Exponent. So it looks like we do the exponent first, huh? So it looks like we have to do 329 squared. That's 329. You know, write it down twice and we multiply. Oh, man. How do we multiply two numbers and three digits? Wow. What's the answer for this? OMG. Oh, my God. Right? Yeah, it's too hard a little bit. Well, maybe just this number. Let's, let's try the, the other one. 271 squared. Uh, 271. No. This right here is just as bad as earlier if we multiplied it. OMG minus OMG is equal to zero. No, just kidding, of course. All right, so this is not the way to go. Unless you really want to practice your computation technique, right? Multiplication of that stuff. But anyway, this is actually a very good question because the structure of it is a difference of two squares. It's good because we can actually use algebra to change the order of operation and make the computation easier. Let me show you what I mean by that. In general, when we have, let's say, a squared, so some number squared, minus some other number squared, so let's say b squared. Usually, we do the order of operations. We do the square first and then minus this square, right? But algebra says you can actually factor it, and you can get a minus b like this. You do this first and put in your parentheses, and then you do a plus b. So you do that, and you put that in your parentheses, and then in the middle, there's nothing. That means, you know, we are multiplying this and that together, right? So the way you can show it is you can just multiply, multiply, and it will work out like this nicely, all right? And there's also a geometry formula, a geometry way to, to demonstrate. I just see it. L let me show you guys real quick, right? So suppose, well, this is not just geometry. This is just algebra, so no. Maybe another video, like somewhere else, just out geometry. No, no, this is just algebra. Let's just look at the algebra part. Yeah. Anyway, here we have what? 329 square. I'm very sorry just because if I do the geometry, I wouldn't have enough space. But anyway, this is the question, right? And based on this, what can we do? We can say this right here is equal to a minus b, which we have 329 minus 271. Yeah, we can do that first, and then we are going to multiply with the result of 329 plus 271. Yeah, can we do this? Okay, let's try it right here, okay? So, 329 minus 271, subtract is 8, the power row, right? So, this becomes a 2 and subtract, right? This is 1, 2, and it's 5, okay? The first parentheses give us 58. Times, right? We saw that right here. If you want to print this, it's up to you. What's this? 329 plus 271. Add, we get 10. And then another 10. Ooh, look at that. And then 6. So we just have to do 58 times 600. Thanks to a lot of zeros. Because when we multiply zeros at the end, just put down. Well, we have two zeros, put them down. Okay. 6 times 58. What does that mean? If you spend $58 six times, you can have to spend 348 and then with a zero. It's a lot like this. I know you guys can do it. But see, if you change the order of, al the order of operations by using algebra, oh, this is still going to be so much better. What's the answer? Answer choice A. All right? Just algebra. All right, if you guys like this, I think you guys will also like the software videos, so go ahead and check them out. Thanks for watching.